Surf Series <laughs> started with this. Chris showed up to my campsite and he's like, you got to try this. I'm like, really? I don't want to try this. And I actually um, was like, gave it to Forrest Shear. I'm like, Forrest, Chris says we're supposed to surf this thing. We are camping. Um, Forrest goes out and surfs it. I see him catch a wave. I'm like, wow, he is flying. And he's like, this board's insane. By the third wave, I'm like, give me that board. Um, rode it and it's basically the fastest um, surfboard that I'd ever ridden. It's a 5.1, I call it my 5.1 longboard. And it, God, I don't know, that was seven years ago and, and I've, you know, I've surfed this board more than any other board the last seven years. And it's just an example of, I would have never imagined surfing something like this. And, it, and it's, um, it's why we need, you know, it's, continue to be reminded of how important it is to have an open mind um, and just no preconceived notions and Chris has really taught me that so this is his fastest um, bottom contour and so when we started talking about um, I want to build surfboards with or build snowboards with them the same manner that we build um, uh, that he was building surfboards he was like this is the board, it glides faster. And that's really the goal with the Surf Series. Cause for example, at Alpine Meadows, we have this awesome zone. It's like 30, 30 to 35 degrees. It's got all these wind lips. And it's actually what led me to um, do the hovercraft is I ride this zone and I'm always like, man, I wish I was up there. And if my board glided faster, I'd have speed to really like turn this 30 degrees into 40 degrees and that is exactly what Chris unlocked and this was the first board we did um, and this is a 138 and it is so fast um, and I just couldn't I really felt how there was no drag up here um, and in surfing if you have drag you don't catch the wave or you fall off the wave Snowboarding, we have so much gravity at our disposal that you'd be amazed at how much drag you have on your boards. And this is, Chris really opened my eyes to this curve right here. And if you see, this thing has a ton of spoon. I think Chris calls it belly. What that does, this is really important because I instantly felt this board where it just, it kind of turned like that instead of like, that because this is how traditional snowboards turn you rock them on edge and then they turn this thing is just like it really smooth rolling edge to edge and you don't even really feel yourself going into it so quickly I'm like man we need to figure out how to make a board with bindings um, because this is a feeling I've never felt before this was another one of those protos in that surf uh, hand shaped stuff and then that led to the storm chaser um, which I got on instantly and I remember uh, driving home and calling um, calling Xavier Nidecker and going we need to split that thing because there's no way I am not riding pal um, uh, you know I need this board um, and I need it split because I just realized I'm like the majority of the powder I ride is on a split board So quickly we got it split and then I got stuck on this board and I'm still largely stuck on it um, I wrote ended up riding this peak meteorite on a similar um, on the same board um, This is the board I shot life of glide on I was so moved by this board that I made that film life of glide and what's funny is if you had told me to go back to preconceived notions that at um, you know my go-to powder board on the best day of the year would be 147 centimeters long and 28 centimeters wide, I probably would have bet my car on that. Um, but that's exactly what this board is, and if it's pow, 
I'm on it. Um, and just another example of, you know, super open mind and let just let it go where it's going to go. And I think that another key is when Chris and I design these boards, um, we don't we don't measure them. We, it's all off of eyeball. So I remember sending over the blanks um, to get them measured. And the call came back, they're like, you just made a 147, 28 centimeters wide. And I'm like, I don't, it felt right, it looked right, just let's try it. And we tried it, and it worked. <laughs>